Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink and I have this super fun card to share with you guys. And Gavin's in the background playing so I'm sure he wants to be heard as well. <laughs> I started off with the Space Bears stamp set from Mama Elephant and I got this set along with coordinating dies forever ago and I've been meaning to use it and just haven't got around to it. So finally got a chance to use it today. So I'm lining up the stamps with the dies. I had cut out those little small dies were nested inside the larger ones. I'd cut those out. I've shown this technique many times. I've done a separate quick tip video about lining up stamps with their coordinating dies with the Misty just to make um, the stamping quicker and easier. And I had originally done it with this one because I didn't want to cut apart all the dies, which I ended up having to do anyway, but I'll get to that in a minute. So I lined up the stamps with the dies and using my mini misty and then I'm inking up the images with Versafine onyx black ink and was stamping it onto this is some Canson XL watercolor paper and I really like using the misty when stamping on the watercolor paper because I'm stamping on the textured side and I did miss a little bit um, on the middle bare so I was able to ink it up and re-stamp it and get it perfect. So once I had everything stamped I'm going to start watercoloring and I'm just using my low Cornell watercolors just the um, really cheap watercolors. They work just fine for this and actually in the end I'm really glad I used it because the way these dried down They because of the chalkiness of them They have kind of a chalky texture and it actually added a little bit of extra like texture to these bears I kind of liked it so you can see that in the pictures at the end um, and also have the pictures on my blog So all I'm doing is just picking up the color with my watercolor brush. I'm using a silver size 2 brush and I decided this time to work somewhat in layers of color. So I decided to paint all the bears brown and painted the main um, bodies of the bears. And then I mixed up a little bit of a lighter brown to do their little tummies and their noses. And um, these watercolors do dry really quickly. That's another little kind of bonus to them. Um, their chalkier texture and that they dry quite fast. So I was able to just continue going along. I did speed this up. This is about four times faster than what it took me, but it didn't take that long. So I went in, did their bodies. Then I did, you know, their little tummies and their noses. And then I mixed up a darker um, shade of brown that I added a little bit of like orange and red to just to make it a little bit warmer and painted uh, just a second layer over these. I didn't do, um, you know, a bunch of like shading and that sort of thing with these. Because one, I wasn't sure exactly how I was going to place my cards, so I didn't want to, you know, add something like different shadows in different areas. Depending on how I place it, it might look funny. And because I just couldn't be bothered. <laughs> well, let's, let's just be honest here. So, I, uh, I painted, once I had all the bears painted, I went in and painted all of the little accessories that I had stamped. So just using different colors from the palette, I painted um, the balloon yellow and then the little flag I painted pink. For the little planets, I kind I dabbed in a little bit of yellow and then I added a little bit of green and then I dabbed in a little bit of glue, a uh, blue, not glue, blue, to make it a little kind of mottled and, you know, a little more different. And for the little um, spaceships there, I just kind of dabbed like, in light amounts of color. That's the thing with um, these sorts of watercolors. Anything with a more chalky texture like this, you do need to be a little more careful um, because it can somewhat obscure stamped lines. So I, with the bears, it wasn't a problem, but I noticed with the little spaceships, when I, especially when I used that, um, the gray I mixed up, I just mixed up the black and the white to make the gray color. And it was kind of obscuring, which you can't really see on here. And they're so tiny, it doesn't matter. But I just thought I would point that out. That if you have problems with that, sometimes you might have to re-stamp the image or um, clean up the lines a bit with a pen, something like that. So once everything was dry, I mixed up um, a really pale blue and just lightly went around their little space helmets here, their little like globes on their heads, just to give the look of somewhat of a reflection there. And just to add that little bit of extra color in to these images. So I went right over it and went right over top of parts of the bear as well. Because again, with that chalky texture, it, lighter colors will show up a little bit on top of darker colors, which is just nice. So when they were all dry, I'm going to start die cutting here. And this is where I must have not lined up the middle bear properly like I was planning in the beginning. So I ended up having to cut these dies apart anyway because I wasn't in the mood to re-stamp and recolor everything. It was just easier to just cut the dies apart. So I cut them apart and then I lined them all up with each image and I taped each die into place with a little piece of micropore tape so that I can die cut everything at once and I tape them into place so that they don't shift when I put them on my little sandwich stack and run them through my big shot because again 
After going through all the time and effort of stamping, coloring them, there's nothing worse than, you know, it accidentally slips when you die cut it and it gets wrecked. <laughs> so I had everything in place and then I'm running it through my big shot. So then every single image is die cut in one pass, making my life super easy. And then for my background, I actually made that in the previous video I posted, my first attempt at a watercolor galaxy. I saved the second piece and I'm using it for this card. So um, if you wanna see how I made that, that background, um, it is in the previous video. And if I remember, I will link to it in an annotation in the upper corner here of the video. So my background was already done, which made this card go even faster. And I decided to die cut a piece, another piece of the Canson Exile cardstock with just a circle die. And I die cut it from a corner of a scrap of a piece because I wanted to create basically the moon. And I just mixed up some more of the white and the black to kind of create a gray and painted it on with a larger brush. This time I used a size six silver brush and just dabbed the color on to kind of look how look like how the moon looks. A um, little bit of lighter gray, a little bit of darker gray wasn't too technical with it and then I quickly dried that with my heat tool and it curled a bit because I was pretty heavy-handed with the water as well so I flipped it over and heat it from the back side of it as well just to kind of help flatten it out a bit and then I decided I wanted to stamp my sentiments right onto that um, moon that I created so I pulled out two sentiments from the set and this is where it was nice that I had cut it from a corner so it lined up perfectly in the bottom corner of the misty and I was going to do both sentiments at once, but then I realized the smaller one wasn't going to fit exactly where I wanted it to. So I just inked up the first stamp, which is the Hooray stamp, and I inked it up with the same um, VersaFine Onyx Black ink and wiped off that little excess there because I didn't want to get that onto the cardstock. And stamped that into place and then pulled that off and then was able to line up um, the little companion stamp here. So able to line that up straight just along the bottom of the hurry stamp and then do the same thing. Pick that up with the lid of my mini misty and stamp that right below um, the first sentiment. So once I've got that, I'm going to adhere this to the background I'd created. I'm going to use some scotch foam tape. I just finished off this roll. I thought I'd show you guys, this is how big a brand new roll of this. Like it's not cheap for this roll, but it's huge. <laughs> so finally opened up this, um, my hoarded roll of scotch foam tape. And now it's like, uh oh, I might have to get another one just to have, you know, as my backup. Cause it just, you know, you just start getting a little antsy when you start running out of foam tape. So I adhered the moon with foam tape and then started to adhere all the different little elements to create the scene on my card. So I used a combination of like some foam tape, some scotch ATG, as well as some multi-medium matte adhesive for all these little elements. So I adhered the balloon with a little bit of foam tape and the multimedia mat to adhere it to the bear's little hand. So he's holding the balloon. And then the other bear I put floating in space. And then I added one of the little spaceships and one of the little planets. And those I just adhered flat to the background with the multimedia matte adhesive. So got that all pressed into place. And then to adhere this to my card base, um, I was very generous with the ATG adhesive because when I did do the galaxy background, it warped quite a bit, even though I'd had it taped down, all that stuff, but I wanted to make sure it was adhered really well. So I was generous with the adhesive, applied quite a bit of it all along the edges in the center. And then I'm adhering that to a heavyweight white cardstock card base, which is um, cut to four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half. So standard A2 size card of four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And I couldn't resist, had to add some sequins. So I pulled out, these are the Simon Says Stamp Crystal Reflection sequins, which are so gorgeous. I love these sequins. And the colors were perfect for this card. So I just scattered them somewhat randomly um, on the card here. And then once I was happy with the placement, I'm just using my multimedia matte adhesive again and squeezing little dabs of that into place and then pressing the sequin on there so that that gets adhered. Once this, um, once the adhesive sets, it's good to go. Like this is the absolute best adhesive for sequins in my opinion, I absolutely love this stuff. So got everything adhered. And then of course have to finish the inside of the card. So I had saved one of the little space bears and those two little um, elements. And then I stamped the dream big sentiment with the same 
um, Versafine Onyx Black ink, ink and then adhered the little space bear and the two little elements and that finished off my card. So thank you all so much for watching today. I will have a link below the video to my blog post that'll have the pictures as well as links to all the supplies used. So check out the description box below the video if you're interested in any of that. Thank you guys so much for watching, for subscribing, for thumbs upping, for commenting on my videos. I read all the comments and try to respond to them as I can. And yeah, I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.